a date which will live in infamy. In VOA's first broadcast, a message in German to Nazi-occupied Europe, announcer William Harlan Hale told his listeners, the news may be good, the news may be bad, we shall tell you the truth. Director Dan Austin says that commitment has guided the voice of America for the last 65 years. We tell people the straight facts, and that's important because they don't hear that very often uh, from other sources. There are millions of people around the world today for whom we are still a beacon of hope and a beacon of freedom. Uh, that's a tremendous responsibility. ¿Qué tal amigos? Desde Washington les saluda Adriana Amad con las noticias de la Voz de América. VOA is now an international multimedia service, broadcasting in radio in 45 languages and airing television reports in 25 languages. VOA is changing along with the rest of the world, but it continues to operate under a charter approved by Congress and signed into law more than 30 years ago. The charter requires the Voice of America to be a consistently reliable and authoritative source of news, accurate, objective, and comprehensive. In its programs, the government-funded broadcaster is obliged to present a balanced and comprehensive picture of America. The Broadcasting Board of Governors, which oversees VOA, says it plans to shift resources to new technology and audiences critical to the war on terror during the coming months and years. Coming up. The proposed changes come with possible reduction or elimination of some VOA programs in English and in other languages now beamed toward the former Soviet Union, parts of Southeast Asia and the Balkans. Director Austin says new technology, including more advanced internet websites, will reach out to wider audiences and help guide VOA through the 21st century. No doubt about it, the internet is going to be an increasingly more significant factor uh, in the way people receive our information and will be there for them. Uh, the great thing about the internet is that we can provide audio reports, we can provide video, and we can even provide the printed word, something we didn't used to do. From the World War to the Cold War to the War on Terror, Austin says VOA's audience remains the agency's number one priority. You can continue to rely on us for objective, comprehensive news and information. The need for that has never been greater, and we're going to be there to supply it for you. Regardless of changes in technology and programming, he says that commitment will hold true for the next 65 years. Sean Maroney, VOA News.